to spend $30,000 a mile because that's what the materials will cost. $30,000 to do a mile two lanes wide with chip and seal. But that goes back to what I was saying. If we had, you know, we, we have extra, we're going to have $70,000 a year in the road fund. And, and understand. But when you say it's going to cost 30000 how much how much a mile? A, a, a two lane, a 20 foot wide road a mile long. It's how much? 30000 in materials. That's on top of the equipment. But once you got the equipment, you always have the equipment. Okay. And that sounds expensive, but yeah. understand it. At some point, you're going to have to start doing diamond head. You're going to do the major roads. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're going to need the chip and seal. Where we're gluing the roads are roads that are in bad shape, but people are just going to have to drive on gravel roads until we get around to the chip and seal them. That may be two or three years down the road. I don't know. Okay. But my point is, is $70,000 gets you the equipment. Now you have all the equipment you need. And then if you decide... Then you just we have got, to buy the gravel yeah, and the stuff get, and the For instance, glue. we get $70,000 of the road fund. Mm -hmm. That's two miles of road chip and seal, see, okay. that you can do. And uh, so that, that's that's the only way. Have to, you approached the board about buying that chip and seal machine? I have not. And uh, I, we don't have the money to buy it. We're not going to have the money with what all we're doing right now. We've got lots of other things. You know, the, the, we, we're in need of at least four... Heat and air units at the you know the restaurant yeah, needs okay. heat and air and all that sort of stuff. So, so tell let's let's go there with the country club then and the air conditioning. The restaurant needs it. Uh, come summer it's going to be really hot in there. Mm -hmm. You notice there's no heat in there as it is. Uh, the big dining hall has two new units. They're about three or four years old. Okay. But the hallways don't have them. The, like the north and south wing of the motel doesn't have heat and air in it either. Neither does the mess. And the kitchen needs uh, heat and air put in. So I've been talking to the board about, you know, the bid was, I had a bid at one time for 45000 to do them all. Mm -hmm. And the board wanted more quotes, and I went and got one or so other, but it wasn't exactly apples to apples. And then I think one of the board members went and they got a quote, and their quote was $70-something thousand dollars. So, and then I, by the time I've gone back and get another quote, the one, that, the one that quoted is 40 something thousand is almost 70 thousand now. So it's, you know, things go up and things change and, and whatnot. I've got some other ideas that we're talking about putting mini splits in or what have you. But we're going to at least do one to see how it works. If it works good, we're going to do more. Do It'll least, be a lot cheaper. At least do one mini split. Yeah, we're okay. gonna do, I'm going to do it myself. What kind of Man, space would that cover? That's going to cover the dining, that's going to cover the restaurant. Okay. And if that in the works kitchen out, or in the dining no, area. it's going to be the main dining area and the waitress station. That'll cover okay. that. And if that works out good, we'll do the kitchen, and then we'll do them one by one on the others. You know, they're going to be about best I can figure six, seven thousand dollars a piece to do. But that's us doing all the work. We want to make sure we can do it before we jump too far into it. We want to do one to make sure we can do it. Okay. What about since we're on that same building? What about the hotel rooms? I'd love to see the hotel rooms updated, but uh, we just don't, you know, and that's why I was saying we need to start trying to do a little bit less with the golf course. We're not, it's still going to look good. We just don't need to do equipment. I mean, because basically I could go, you know, i got a grader over there that uh, went through the flood. We're having to put some work into it, the hydraulic pumps out on it. But it's probably a 1981 model or 70-something model. I could say I need a new grader, but I won't make do with what I got. Uh, the dump truck that we bought for $6,000, I mean, it ain't very pretty, but it works. Uh, you know, I'd love to have a new backhoe. To, you know, I'd love to have, we got tractors that been through the flood and have all the glass broke out of them, you know. Uh, we'd like to have new equipment too, but we got to make do with what we've got. Mm -hmm. if, you know, because my deal is I don't want to go into debt, you know. You were a townhouse. You had a condo. Still have a condo. And, you know, they went and spent and went into debt to put siding on, and they're still paying that loan right. to this day. And uh, townhouses, I think, are in the same boat. You know, we need to try to pay as we go. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that by buying new equipment. We have to do it the most economical way that we can. Or at least a little bit at a time. And a little bit at a time, you know. Uh, so anyway.
anyway. Does that cover? I think that covers the country club, the roofs, the golf course equipment. So I know that there in in some board meetings there's been conversations about fundraisers to help with some of the other yeah. things. The swimming pools, the tennis court. Talk to me about some fundraisers. Well, I think fundraisers are great. And uh, but you know I'm concerned whether we're gonna be able to get the pool open this year. And well, I'm sorry, let me ask you this. Was there any conversation about doing any fundraisers to raise the money for the golf course or the golf course um, equipment? No, no, nothing was discussed that I know about. Okay. I'm not going to say it wasn't because I don't know. They could have discussed it, but that's that's where I was going to lead into this. Is you know the guy, the pool needs 36 minimum to fix it. It probably needs 40 or better. And it needs it, or we won't have it this year without it. I don't think I, I don't know. I just, I really can't answer those questions. I've told the board, uh, they're making those decisions on where this money's going to go. They're, they're, they got, they're wanting to do fundraisers for the pool. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll get the money raised that way. I don't know. Okay. But my thing is, what I want to explain was, there's 350 homeowners. There's no more than 70 households that play golf out of 350. So therefore, you have a lot of people that live here that don't play golf. Mm -hmm. Don't ever set foot on the golf course. And I was talking to somebody the other day and I'm like, you know, they said, well, if you didn't have a golf course, people wouldn't live here. Well, number one, there's a lot of people who live in gated communities that don't have a golf course. Right, right. So to me, the gated community is one of the biggest things why people want in here. I think it's pretty in here for one. Now I'm a golfer. I like the golf course. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not saying to do away with the golf course. But I'm just saying we can do other things for other for, for the members that do foot the bill. Right. I think, you know, I'm gonna probably get shot at here, but I think, you know, the golfers need to pay a little more than what the members are paying at some point down the road to help support the golf course. Uh, you know, but isn't there isn't wants, isn't part of their golf included in their dues? All the golf's included in their, you know, whether you play or not, right. you're paying for it. Yeah. You're paying for the golf course. But my thing is We've got people in, you know, one time, you know, I hadn't lived here that many years like some have, but one time you had Red River Ranch, you had a putt-putt golf, you had canoeing on the river, you had three swimming pools in Falcon Head, you had horseback stables, you had multiple things, you had skeet shooting at Red River Ranch, you had things for, if you weren't a golfer, you had other things you could do. Right. And so that's all gone by the wayside. And it just keeps getting locked off little by little. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to see some of that stuff come back. I want to see the call, the park rebuilt. I want I want to have a park for the kids, a nice one. I want to see the tennis courts and the basketball courts mm -hmm. fixed. I want to see a splash pad put in. A splash pad is very inexpensive to do. I'd like to see a fenced area for a dog park, you know, or a bark park or whatever, where people can go walk their dogs and, and meet other people. I'd like to see some nature trails through the woods so people can drive their golf carts or, or bicycles. And we got lots of property in Falconhead. They can drive around and see, you know, and there's people willing to do that. I'm one of them. You know, I'd even foot the bill on it. To go help to, to, build I, the I'd trails? Go, I'd go build the trails, you know. But that's what I foresee in Falconhead. If you start getting these things done, then you have even a bigger draw. You have more to offer when people move in here. Right. Uh, so, in the other place where our $50,000 went, you know, last year we, we've been on water restrictions two or three years Wait, ago. Wait, what $50,000? Well, I'm getting, I'll come to that. Okay. All right. What the deal is, is, okay, and I, Jocko's one that brought this up to me, and, he's, and he's, I think he's dead on, and I agree with him 100%. Included in your 210 a month is your water. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of speculation going on that, okay, that you get unlimited water, and it's always going to be that way, and you can't change it. That's not true. When the dues went to $150 a month, your water bill was $31 a month, and your trash was $19 a month. That's what made the other $50. Oh, okay. So... What they did is they elected not to read the meters anymore. And just because, they, number one, they, 
were charging such a cheap amount for excessive water, they weren't, it wasn't paying them to do it. Well, since then, with people putting gardens in, sprinkler systems, and things like that, there's 350 homeowners out here. We use 7.5 million gallons of water a month in the summertime. It's more water than the, Marietta, the city of Marietta uses with all their businesses. That's how much water we waste out here. Falcon Head uses 7.5 7 .5 million 5 gallons a month. And so. Now we, that includes the golf course? Nope. That, that don't even include the golf course. Okay. That's just, That's just the business the, of Falcon the, Head yeah. and the yeah. members. And the members. The, re, and the, the issue is when you don't read meters, for right now, for all I know, I could have a really bad leak out there. And, not, and if it's not coming to the surface, I don't know I've got a leak. Right. And if you're not reading meters, you don't know. It, when, when you used to, I used to be with SOWC. Okay. My toilet started leaking. All of a sudden, my water bill went from seventy dollars a month to four hundred dollars a month, and I'm like, something's wrong. They asked me, "Well, you got any toilets leaking?" I'm like, "Yeah, all of them are leaking." Well, there's where your water's going. You mean well, like running? Just running. Oh, okay. Not leaking, like, but yeah, like you just run. Yeah, it just runs, just runs, runs, runs. Running, running. You just okay. got water running twenty four seven. When that happens, but well, here's the deal: if that happens in Falcon Head, they're not going to get a water bill. We don't read the meters. Mm -hmm. They could run a hundred thousand gallons. A normal household uses five thousand a month. A normal person a normal, like a study normal show is five thousand a month okay. without watering your ass and stuff. If you don't know that you went to a hundred thousand gallons by reading the meter, you don't know you have you don't know you have issues. Falconhead don't know you have issues. Okay. So. So that could not, even be someone who doesn't live here full time. Exactly. And their toilet's running yeah. when they left, but they didn't realize it. You or... know, you lived in a condo. I know we had toilets in our condo that would run every sure. once in a while. And, you know, we don't think nothing about it because we're not getting a water bill for it. And so what I'm getting at is I would like to see at some point everybody get 10,000 gallons of water for what they pay already. You know, their two ten their dues that they're paying. We're going to give you double what the average person uses. Have you done any meter reads? We have done just some, but we went back study. and looked at when, like, Lowell Thompson lived here and some some well-to-do people that had some big watering systems. Okay. Lowell Thompson used 100,000 gallons a month. And if you was to pay a water bill on that, it would have been over $1,000 okay. for a water bill. But... And back then, they were only charging like one or two dollars a thousand gallons, so it was not much in the water bill. So what I would like to see done is, if we would charge for the excessive water, we wouldn't have a water shortage for one. We, if, if you think about it, if nobody's going to use this much water, but if they use ten thousand gallons a month times three hundred fifty, that's three point five million gallons. That leaves us four million left. Okay. Okay, let's say I want to water my yard and I want to use an extra 20,000 gallons. I'm going to pay $10 for every thousand they use. So my bill is going to be $200 on top of that if I want to water my grass or if I want to spill a swimming pool. But if I don't want to use it, I don't have to. That's my choice. When you get a water bill from SOWC, if you want to use more water in the summertime, it's just like if you want to use more electricity to heat your or to cool your house in the summer, it's going to cost you more money. So, have you have you looked at any meters in the last year, year and a half, we, just to see what, what we're doing? Okay. And, uh, and I, I average five thousand a month. Is okay. What I'm at. And do you and have the some more. sprinkler got, system in the yard? I don't have any sprinkler system. Okay. So, my point is, is we just spent fifty thousand dollars. It's going to be fifty thousand dollars to bring another well online. Okay. Did we dig that, or did we? No, fix it's that? a well that was already there that had holes in the casing. Been it, since I've been here, it's been offline. Okay. And uh, it cost you know I, there again. We'll try to put this information on there. They can see. I basically got the the uh, this was the bid. It was thirty seven thousand, and it says what all was done here. Okay. But we had to buy a flow meter. Was another two thousand. So we wrote a check the other day for almost forty thousand. 
but we got to put a five thousand dollar fence around it around the well around the well okay and we're gonna have to do some more before we're finished we'll have fifty thousand in that well and the five thousand dollar fence that's going to be permanent yeah it's okay. a chain link fence it's got to have bob wire and all that sort of stuff so nobody okay. get her and tamper with it and so what i what, what i'm getting at is had we charged for excessive water starting this year number one we wouldn't have run out of water we wouldn't need to bring this well online we could have I promise you, if we'd have charged for excessive water, we would have collected fifty thousand this summer in in extra in, in excess, in, in excess of, water fees. Okay. And then next year we could have paid for that well, and it wouldn't have cost us anything. But since we had to put the fifty thousand there, there went another fifty thousand dollars that we were going to use for the roads. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So you know, fifty thousand there that we were going to use for the roads went there. Forty thousand going to go over to the golf course that we're going to use there. They're ninety thousand dollars. Where's the forty? You mean okay? Well, so the time, well it's going to be late. It's not going to be quite thirty-six because okay. they're getting it mid-year or whatever. But next year it would have been thirty-six. Okay. Uh, but we got to have air conditioners this year. Right. Too. You Absolutely. Know, you see what I'm saying? So when you do all this, it brings it down to next to nothing. And and uh, you know it's, it's 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 this is really a hard thing to run on, but. Well, the reason I want to touch there is because understand that we spent 30000 getting the lift station fixed last year. And that's the one coming off the lake that we wouldn't get fined for? No. No. Yeah, no, that's over by the airport, that lift station, the sewer lift station. We spent money fencing the lagoons. We spent money fixing the townhome sewer. The lake blew out last year. We spent money on that. We spent a total of around eighty thousand dollars on fixing stuff. That stuff is not going to have to be fixed for a long, long time. So that money can go towards right. roads and other things. And so it's just like when we fix one road, that road don't have to be fixed again. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's where you do get more money. You know, I mean, when you talk about we fix Crescent Lake, that cost us money. I mean. We, we spent a lot of money. Uh, I say it's a lot. It's If you would have hired just the Crescent Lake done, you're looking at $400,000 to hire what we did for $40,000. Okay. You know, that's how we save money. Is We do it so much cheaper because we do it ourselves. If you hire everything done, I, mean, what? I mean, you know, when Barbara was here, she paid $5,000 to fix a 20 by 20 patch in the road. You know? Guys, I gotta pause you. Okay.